for Garza. Throws up a three, and it's good again. Luca Garza, same spot on the floor, just five feet further back. I would describe my game, um, you know, as a versatile player uh, who, who plays, you know, extremely hard and works really hard. I think, you know, there are going to be guys that are a lot of quicker than me, guys who are more athletic than me, but I'm going to find a way, um, you know, to, to outlast them and, and, and beat them because, you know, uh, they won't, you know, go as far as I will. Um, and, and on the offensive end, you know, I think I can do it all. I, I can shoot the three ball, I, I can play in the post, I can you know, shoot the mid-range, and I think on defense, you know, I'm a smart defender who, who comes over and helps his teammates and tries to block shots when he can, takes charges when he can, um, and, and just overall, I'm a player who's going to do whatever it takes uh, to win the game. Garza, free inside, and a dunk. You know, the biggest contribution I want to make uh, is to be a leader. You know, I, I want to lead these guys and show them, you know, how hard you need to play and how you, hard you need to work to be successful at, at this level. Uh, so for me, that's the biggest thing. You know, I, I want to push these guys uh, to reach our potential. And I think as a team, we have a, uh, you know, a very high potential and, and a lot of expectations. But, you know, if we try to improve every single day and win every single day, you know, we're going to end up getting there. Here he goes Why again. Not? Thought it was going to be a heat check, not this time. You know, the biggest reason uh, for me to decide to return was just, you know, I, I knew the potential of this team we had coming back, and, and for me that meant the world to me, and, and I wanted to be a part of it. And, you know, it wouldn't have felt right, you know, leaving to go to the NBA uh, without finishing what I started started here. Garza with a catch inside. You know, for me, my mentality when I step on the court is, is, is that I'm just locked in. You know, I'm, I'm ready, I'm balanced, uh, you know, mentally, and I'm just ready to attack. I think for me, uh, I never try to be too high or too low on a basketball court. You know, obviously, you know, I'm an emotional player, but at the same time, my mindset is always balanced. And, and for me, I just want to line up and play harder than, um, you know, whoever's playing against me. No good. Garza with a rebound up and in. I don't want to use unstoppable. He is unstoppable. Too many. You know, when you look at our, our, our team um, and, and its depth, it's it's incredible. You know, when you add a guys like Jack Nunji and Jordan Bohan into a team we had, you know, last year, you know, it's impressive. And, and bringing back Patrick McCaffrey and you know all the freshmen we have, it's. It's awesome to be a part of, and, and practices have been so competitive because when you look at our team, you know, one through 16, we got a bunch of guys who can play. Um, so, you know, every day, you know, they're challenging, you know, the black team and we're challenging the white team. So it's, it's been a lot of fun, and I think, you know, it's, it's helping us improve a lot. Here's Garza. He steps out to the three-point line. There it is. That might be the dagger for Iowa. Lucas says, you're going to double me inside, I'll go outside. This season would be successful, um, you know, if I felt like our team put everything out there. You know, if, if our team, you know, puts everything into every single game, every single moment, you know, no matter what the outcome is, um, you know, I think it would be successful. And if I, you know, end the, end the year and, I, you know, I feel like I did everything I could in, in Iowa, Jersey, uh, for my four years, you know, that would be a successful season, a successful career for myself. The Heartland is brought to you by Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, serving Iowans for more than 80 years. This season, choose health care coverage you can count on from Wellmark. There's no masking the Hawkeyes and Illini's pet up energy to get back on the floor and get after each other. It's been eight to ten days since both have competed. Second place is on the line of the Big Ten. Iowa is six and two. Illinois is six and three. As if they needed any more incentive. C.J. Frederick, if you missed it, C.J. is not playing tonight because of that injured foot. Weiss camp for Connor McCaffrey. Going to have to force something up. Here comes a three. Good by McCaffrey. Iowa has the lead at 5-4. We'll take it. Backdoor cut. And Keegan Murray with a shot fake. Lays it up and in with a left hand. Coburn had to let him go once he beat him. 
to that spot in the lane. Here's Garza working the dribble in on Coburn. Shot fake, shot up and good. Who's better at that than the big fella? Yeah, he's got 100 moves. Skip pass, nice lead feed on the bounce to Garza. Misses the shot, tip it is good. Lucas stayed right with it, tipped it back up and in. Wieskamp for three at the other end. It's good. What a great start for Joe Wieskamp. Backdoor catch and a score by Garza. Give Bohannon the assist. Right over the top. Both teams scoring with ease. Bohannon back quickly. Connor for three. Hits it. And a foul called in the corner on the youngster Andre Curbelo. Tucson. Joe circles back center. The floor turns the corner. Gets into the paint. Turns. Shoots. And scores. Nifty move by Joe Tucson. Gets it back outside to Connor McCaffrey. His three is no good. But the tip back. Offensive rebound and putback is good by Keegan Murray. Nice job, Keegan Murray. Wieskamp tries to counter with a three and does at the other end. Boy, that was big. 32-31, Illinois. Wieskamp from the baseline. Misses that shot. Strong rebound. Up oh. and in by Keegan Murray. He was going to dunk the ball. Here's Wieskamp for three in the lead back. Yes, sir. Joe Wieskamp has hit two of his last three shots. Garza Tried tries to match it and does. Luca with a long three from the right wing. Iowa back in front. Now 39-39. 38, Garza to Wieskamp, to Bohannon, his three. This one finds the mark. Deep range, three for Jordan Bohannon. Murray drives a pass in front of the Iowa bench to Connor. Goes right inside to Nungy. Great move by Jack, and Kofi had to let him go. Backs it out, now to Nungy. He's looking for Murray, who's posting up on a smaller man. Jack drives inside, has the dunk blocked away by Colbert. Keegan Murray, though, gets the loose ball up and in, and Iowa's back in front. Here's Toussaint. They forgot about him, or lost him. Snuck in a weak side, and a nice jump pass. Goes baseline. Jump hook is good. Splash down. Luca Garza, Tony Perkins. Heading the other way. Leaves it on the wing for Wieskamp. His three. Good. A deep three. Room right in front of Fran McCaffrey. And the Hawks are back in front. The Hawks running with the basketball. Shot is up and good. A layup with the left hand by Tony Perkins. McCaffrey brings it back down the floor with a layup attempt. No good. And the tip dunk is good by Garza. That's what Luca Garza does so well. Races down the floor. Tie game at 69. Iowa hunting a three. Wieskamp from the corner. It's good. And Iowa's in front 72-71. How pretty was that, Rainbow? How big of a shot was that right there? Wieskamp. Shot fake. Drives inside. Goes to the basket. Lost the dribble. Gets it back. Up and no good. But a goaltending is called on Illinois. I've been looking at this goaltender not. I don't know how, so what happens if it's not that Joe got the ball right back and scored the layup? They have taken the basket wow. away. They've reversed the goal 10. Iowa gets the ball. Jordan now with a long three. Good. He rattled it in. Timeout, Iowa. 78-75. Comes into Garza. Luca hands it to Bohannon. Jabo throws up a three. No good. Rebounded by Foul. Kofi Coburn, and he's fouled. Illinois holds on for a five-point win over the Hawkeyes, 80 to 75. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee. Save time and shop online with Hy-Vee Isles Online. Go to IslesOnline.com to get started. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. Good Sunday morning. Welcome into a snowy Carver Hawkeye Arena for Big Ten wrestling action again as Iowa welcomes in the Illinois Fighting Illini. Should be one pretty good match here as uh, Illinois has got some interesting matchups here with the Hawkeyes. You know, it should be a, obviously another lopsided victory that we've been having here, you know, with Nebraska, Minnesota, you know, just a, kind of another steamroll for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, but at the same time, you still have to go out and earn it. you got to earn it every single time you step out on the mat. Nobody's going to give it anything. This is Division One Big Ten wrestling. Here comes Spencer Lee out of the mat right away here. He's taking on Cardini. Justin Cardini, ranked 13th, 2-2. Two and two. Spencer attacking right away, snaps, goes around behind him, two-point takedown. The thing that you cannot coach against is pace and energy. And if you watch Spencer Lee, there's your example on how to handle uh, anyone who tries to keep it close. Uh, but they definitely benefit from, you know, Spencer's... Um, you know, the Hodge and the Sullivan and the two-time national champions energy walking out there. And I think you feel it all the way up and down the lineup. Run it. Come on. He's just keep going side to side right there. He's working so hard on top, Spencer is. There we there go. He now sucks it, him back there's, over. There's going to be the fall right here. Stitches it up a little bit more for the right fall. There. 
Two minutes, 27 seconds, the time of the fall. Hawks go up 6-0. That'll bring out Austin DeSanto taking on Lucas Bird, a sophomore with a record of 4-0. and oh. okay, DeSanto down block, goes back into go. the carry, gets him that time. Look at some flexibility there. Nice. Hold him, hold him, hold him there. Beautiful carry. Held the arm just like you did up in Minnesota. Yeah, that was that was a weird position. I don't I don't know what he tried to do there. Maybe like Zamboni out, but he almost hurt himself there. Um, but I just kept wrestling and almost got the fall. But I just need to work in there better and get it done next time. DeSanto with that riding time point is going to win by a score of 18 to 6. Major decision. Hawks lead 10-0 as we move to 141 pounds. Top ranked Jaden Ironman for the Hawkeyes, taking on number 13, Dylan Duncan. No, he sucks it in deeper, but that now allows that us to lock up that cradle. That's what he always looks for. He's so good that there's two takedowns. Should be getting some near falls here. Should be four near fall as well coming. He's trying to there adjust you go. again. Now he's gonna now he's out, hips onto the chest. Duncan trying to fight that off. Ironman gets the fall. 408. 149, fifth ranked Max Mirren for the Hawkeyes, taking on number eight, Michael Carr, a senior with a three and one record. Trying to get that inside side position, drags him in, looking to cut off to the there double leg go. right on the there edge. There you go. Looking to elevate, dumps him down to his hip, and that should be two, but there is the two takedown. I can't give up the roll, you know, I can't let him roll under and grab my ankles. Uh, I mean, even if he, he doesn't, uh, you know, hope me, I mean, he's still defending me, so I mean, it's a dangerous position. Uh, I gotta make sure I finish clean. Move to 157 pounds, sixth ranked Caleb Young for the Hawkeyes, taking on Johnny Molagusis. You know, he's There's just a nice he's underhook throw by. Underhook. And Comes reaches up. across, trying to outside trip it there, and drives him down to the mat, covers the hips for two. Nice. Takes that double, didn't get both legs. Now he's headed to the inside. Molagusis trying to hip into us, looking to stuff our head. We reach up, nice. cut him across, and take him down. Nice. 13 to 4 will be the final score. Major decision for Caleb Young. Boy, I love Michael Kimmer. What a great kid. Fun to watch. He's really, really developed into a stud 74 pounder. Deep overhook right now for Shannon. Tries an inside trip and nice. we duck underneath off of that and get around behind for the two. Michael Kimmer is going to win this one after riding time by a score of 10 to 2. Move to 197. Jacob Warner taking on Matt Robluski, a junior with a three and one record. Low single attempt there by Robluski. We reshoot, able to snatch him, barely hang on to the knee, and then able to dump him down for the two. Leg attack, leg attack. Jacob Warner will have over three minutes of riding time. He'll win by a score of four to zero for the heavyweights. Tony Cassiope for the Hawkeyes, taking on Luke Luffman, number five in the country. Now we're front head, almost a cradle, cradle locked, locked in up. here. He's got it locked up right now. That's two takedown. You got to give him the two here. You know, I, I wanted to run him more straight over, and I ended up going to my hip because I don't I, – that's where I've always felt more comfortable in that cradle, but it's not as safe. So I was working to try to run him straight over, and I just kind of felt it there. So I, I hooked his foot and went to my hip and got that fall. There's the two. Now he's see if he can run it up over here. And he does. He's getting near falls. Will he settle it? Oh, There's a the fall. fall! Tony Gassiopi with the fall in a cradle. Hawks win by a score of 36 to 6. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme Internet. Feel the speed. Feel the power. Feel extreme. U.S. Cellular is proud to be the official wireless sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, connecting Hawkeye Nation. Iowa and Minnesota. The starting lineups uh, being introduced. And the Hawks get it down quickly. Clark to Sonano. Right-handed layup is good. And the Hawkeyes strike first. Ahead to Clark, to Marshall, left-handed layup, count the basket, and she is shoved and will have a chance for a traditional three-point play. I love the energy we played with today. I thought our energy was so much higher. I thought our focus was really good. Um, it just feels good to play a, a team basketball style and, and, and just a clean game. Here's Kate Martin for three, and she drops it in from the right wing. Hawks feeling hot from the three-point line. And a foul inside. And Sonato gets the hoop and will come to the line to try to complete the three-point play. I, I think our, for the whole game, our, our goal was to just keep going, keep pushing, keep not letting up at all, no matter how much we were up. And I think we did a good job of that. And the Hawks in transition. Get it down to Gabby Marshall. Pump fake on the left side, and the layup is good. 
and into the hands of Caitlin Clark. See if she tries to go all the way. Nope, she'll pull for three right wing. Got it. Inside Sonano. Turnaround shot from the left block. Nice interior pass by Lexi Civilian. Here's Clark for a deep three pointer and drops it in. That was 30 feet plus. Wow. That's fun basketball when you're knocking down threes, getting steals, getting easy fast break layups. That's just what we want to do every single night. So I think more than anything, just tonight was just fun. And it's what we wanted to come out here and improve our, to ourselves and into the rest of the league tonight. Throws it away to Tommy Taiwo, drives in. Right-handed layup is up and good. And how big is this for Monica to go back home? Uh, grew up near Williams Arena. Her sister is committed, sister Maggie to Minnesota. So uh, bragging rights in her favor right now. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Athletico Physical Therapy, it all starts here. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team in raising money for every free throw made by the Hawkeyes all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. Today, on National Girls and Women's in Sports Day, we look back on the women who built the foundation we stand on. How would young people yeah. today even know because they don't know the history? Yeah. They think what they've got today, women have had forever. I was told, in no uncertain terms, women were not interested in sport. I mean, don't you find that hard to yeah. believe? Well, I, I couldn't accept that. To the woman who revolutionized sports for us, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. but we are not done. We are here to move her forward, to empower the next generation. And to remind everyone that not only are women interested in sports, we belong in sports. Our next Heart of the Hawkeyes feature is Jeff Peterson. Despite growing up in Cyclone Country of Gowrie, Iowa, Jeff Peterson attended the University of Iowa and has been a Hawk fan ever since. His wife, Julianne, is known as the Trumpet Lady, spreading Hawkeye cheer to bars, restaurants, and highways across the nation. They both can't wait to get back to Kinnick in their old gold-colored Ford Mustang. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.